Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, if somebody had told me that there was a dead squirrel in here, I would have believed it. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to get the smell of stinky milk out of your car. Now, as a mom to four, I have some experience on how to do this effectively because this isn't my first time around the block when it comes to spilled milk. So before I show you how to do this, I'm going to tell you a little story. And this is a true story that took place four days ago. It all started when I climbed in my car. Ugh, something smells. I noticed a little smell, it wasn't that bad. But then the next day, okay, something is really starting to stink. It was definitely stronger. So I looked around in the back. I thought maybe I left a stinky diaper in there. I couldn't find anything. But by the third day, uh, no. It was getting pretty serious. Like my eyes were burning and my nose hairs were singeing serious. So I realized it was definitely time to stop everything, find the source of the smell and get rid of it. It didn't take me too long to find the culprit. Milk that had been sitting in my car for three days and yes, it spilled. How does that even happen? Then I had a sudden flashback of something that happened five days ago. I was putting away my groceries for the week and it seemed like I was missing something. Wait, didn't I have one more gallon of milk? Maybe I just forgot and ordered one less. I'm sure that's it. What could go wrong? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. In retrospect, I should have double checked the milk. Fortunately, the whole gallon had not spilled. I would say by the looks of things, it looked like about two cups had spilled, but it doesn't matter. Any amount of milk that spills on your upholstery, especially when it's hot outside, like it is right now, it's like, I think it's like 92 degrees right now, that milk gets eaten by bacteria very, very quickly. And that bacteria is what starts to smell. So I'm gonna walk you through how I cleaned this out step by step because now, it smells so nice. I'm gonna show you how I did that right now. But first, if you're new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, my name is Diana, I'm totally a germaphobe. And on this channel, we love to show you how to clean and organize and disinfect things. So if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe. Also remember to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. But, but now if you've got a stinky spilled mess car, let's get to cleaning it. So the first thing that you wanna do is vacuum out the whole general area. Now I'm gonna use my handheld Dyson. I absolutely love it. I use it every day. Of course, I'll link to it in the video description down below. But whatever you've got is just fine. The purpose is to get rid of all of the loose dirt and debris because you're gonna be getting this area very, very wet and you don't wanna turn that dirt and debris into a muddy mess. Now I'm gonna take a minute to feel where the wet is and where the dry is because I really don't wanna be vacuuming up any moisture, especially spoiled milk into my handheld vacuum cleaner. The moisture can actually damage the vacuum itself. So vacuum around the wet spot, don't vacuum the wet spot itself. So here you can see the spilled milk. It's very visibly obvious. It's of course obvious to my nose as well. And this is the area that we were really gonna concentrate on with step two. And so let's talk about that now. So as smelly as my van is right now, I hate to admit it, but I've dealt with this before. This is not the first episode of spilled milk that I have had in my car. Doesn't make it any better, but I do know how to get rid of it. So the first thing that you really need to do is you've got to extract as much of the milk out as you can. Now, I didn't know this had spilled until three days. And so at this point, a lot of it has dried on but it's still the same concept, we need to extract it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to re-moisten the spilled milk. I'm just gonna use water with a little bit of dish soap just to reconstitute any milk that has dried up. And then from there, I'm gonna use an extractor to get it out. Now, extractor, that just means a, a carpet cleaner type device that sucks water out of the carpet. So that could be something like a shop vac, or there are some specialty units that you can buy. I'll show you the one that I'm using. It doesn't really matter. The purpose is to be able to suck out as much of the milk as you possibly can. So in my case, I'm gonna use the Bissell Spot Clean Pro uh, Pet Cleaner. If you're just using a shop vac, you're gonna need to use your spray bottle with cleaner every time you use your brush to suck up any milk 
because you want to dilute it with more cleaner and then suck it up again. But with the one that I'm using, it actually sprays water and cleaner at the same time as it's sucking it up so you don't have to do it separately. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. It does have a compartment for clean water as well as a compartment for dirty water and I also like that it will spray water at the same time as it extracts water which is really great for this gross mess that I'm dealing with. So the trick to this method is you want to dilute the milk and then extract it or suck it out multiple times. Now I really want to emphasize this. The more repetitions that you do, the more likely you are to be able to get up the milk that is sunk deep into the fibers of the carpet. And believe me when I say, if you spilled a generous amount of milk into your car, that milk will get deep down into the fibers of your carpet. And the only way that you are gonna get that out is by diluting it and then extracting it out multiple times. Now, if you don't have an extractor or even a vac mop, never fear, I'm gonna show you an alternative method right here. You're gonna to wanna to get yourself a spray bottle and lots and lots of towels or paper towels, whatever you wanna use. Fill the spray bottle up with hot water and then add just a little bit of detergent. Now you can use Dawn, you can use laundry detergent, whatever you have, just add a very small amount. Then what you're gonna do is spray the area very generously and then you're gonna use your towel to dab up all of the moisture and the diluted milk. And then you're gonna repeat this process over and over and over again to try to get up as much of that milk as you possibly can. But as for me, I'm going to go back to demonstrating with my Bissell. You'll be able to pull the milk out of the carpet more effectively if you do each pass in a different direction. So you can start with going up and down and then side to side and then diagonal, repeating that process over and over and over again. And that is how you're gonna get as much of that milk out as you possibly can. This really encompasses that old saying, wash, rinse, and repeat. And that definitely applies here because the more milk that you were able to pull out of the carpet, the less food there is for bacteria to feed on and the less bacteria that is growing in your rug, the less smell there will be. This next step is very important. Do not miss this step. You're gonna want to do one final rinse with a solution of four parts water, one part vinegar. The vinegar will really help to get the smell out. So the final step, once you have sucked up as much of the milk as you possibly can, which means multiple passes, diluting and extracting the milk and the water as many times as you can, the final step is to use an enzymatic formula, something like this. There are lots of different brands. I'm choosing to use this one, mostly because I actually really, really like the smell and I found that it works really well. This is Nature's Miracle, stain and odor remover. It's good for animal urine and feces and vomit and other things like that, but it's also good for any kind of organic stain and milk certainly falls under that category. So what I'm gonna do is just generously spray this on. I really, really like the way this smells. I honestly wish they had an air freshener of this scent. So we are gonna let that sit overnight. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, what if it is late at night or I don't have time to run to the store and I don't have an enzymatic formula? What can I do? And don't worry, I've always got you covered. The next best thing is to simply use baking soda. I keep this in this little container here, but what you do is you just sprinkle it right over where the spill was Okay, and you let that sit overnight. And then in the morning, we're gonna come back and we're gonna vacuum that up. What this is going to do is it's going to absorb the odors um, into the baking soda, and then you're gonna vacuum that away. It's not as good as the enzymatic formula, but it is definitely going to help. So if you don't have this right here, then this would be the next best thing.
thanks for watching this video. I really hope that you found it informative. I hope that it helped you figure out how to get the smell out of your car. If you did like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It means the world to me as well if you hit subscribe and the notification bell. And, and hey, if you know another person who has kids in their car or otherwise has spilled messes in their car like I do, be sure to share this video with them. Up next, I'm going to show you a video here of how we steam cleaned the interior of a car and turned it from drab to fab in just a couple of hours. I think that you're really going to enjoy it. So be sure to click on this video right here and I will see you over there. Hey, one more thing, you guys, if you guys have ever had anything spill in your car that ended up reeking really, really bad, put that in the comments section below. I would love to hear your stories. Let me know that I'm not the only one in the world that has these kind of disasters that happen in their van.